in terms of the role of nurses and the pandemic, I would say to you it was very challenging, as you can understand, being the pandemic new to us and such like it, that would have been very challenging. However, part of our training, we were taught about dealing with pandemics and such like it. So therefore, we were still able to come to come up to point with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was challenging because it was something new. The idea of wearing masks and wearing gongs and, you know, all fully gunged up and prepared for the pandemic, but we managed that very well because that is what we've been trained to do. That is part of our training, coping with pandemics, even although we've not had a pandemic that we actually had to deal with before. In terms of trying to cope with the pressures, the thing about it is that we support each other, we support one another. So it is like, yes, there's a shortage of staff, so that alone in itself put a strain on you. But at the same time, they say it's about working together, team effort. So part of it too is that our non-essential services were reduced, but we still had the main essential services, so we did not close any of our essential services. But like I say, it was a matter of then maybe shifting a nurse from here to there that can to cope with that pressure. And most important thing, teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork right through. So we couldn't have done it before one or the other. We had to be a team in order to manage through that. Oh. So two years on, what would you say were some of the important lessons learned during all of this? Oh, important lessons, definitely the importance of teamwork, being there to support one another. And when I say support, not only in terms of the actual work, but support mentally, support socially, even in terms of your family and such like it, that support. And to know that when you're stretched, you have the other person that you can call upon. You have the other person that will take over from you. You have the other person that will say to you, oh, you take a break, I'm gonna take over from you. So that was very important. And when they say team, not only in terms of nurses, yes, it's nurses week, but then we don't function in a bubble. We have the other staff to work with, right? So even outside the nurses direct, then we had the support staff because we could not have done it a, a chain as is, is as strong as its weakest link. So that we also had. I even say some of the issues still remain shortage of staff, but then that comes back to training. And part of it is the government has sought to bring in nurses from outside to help increase the complement of nurses. That would then give the current nurses an opportunity to go and further their studies. And that is what we need. Right? In terms of, because you have different categories of nurses. You have a single trained registered nurse, you have also have a registered nurse who can be a midwife. And then you have the specialty, which is the public health. So it's like you need the step-by-step -step process. And that is where bringing in the outside nurses then will allow us to achieve that step-by-step -step to further the qualification of the nurses. What advice would you have for people who are interested in getting the nursing profession? I would encourage persons who are really interested to come into nursing. One of the things you need to understand is that nursing is not a 15 to 430 job. As persons think, especially in the polyclinic, that's a 15 to 430. No, because in the polyclinic, because we do community health, which is out in the community, you can be called upon to assist out there. So it is not a 15 to 430 job. But once you love caring for people like me, I love caring for people. I can come to work anytime at all. So I would encourage persons to, you know, to really enter the profession. It's a very good profession. You learn a lot. It really opens your eyes, eyes to the things and these different specialties. They say you're a general nurse. There's a midwifery you can do. There's gerontology. There's public health you can do. There's the administrative aspect. So nursing is just not the physical aspect of caring, but then you can branch off into the different specialties. There's the geriatric. There's the psychiatric. There's the curiosity. There's general nursing. So there's a lot of areas that you can go into in nursing. What do you most love about your job? I love looking after the people. And though I might not actually physically be on the floor all the time caring for patients, but it is still that aspect of not the direct nursing care, but still that aspect of when the patient wants something done, when the patient wants advice. That is very important, just as important as actually physically doing nursing care, just to provide information for patients. That makes such a great difference to persons. So. I love my job overall. I love my job.